Hey everybody, welcome back to Common Sense Sports. This is Cody and James. Back again. We've got a little bit of a different intro today. Uh, we've got a couple big announcements. Big announcements. Uh, I guess the first one is about we're going to start doing a new sport. Yeah, we're we'll not going to say what it is yet. No, but we'll announce a new sport. It's a big sport. Yeah, so it's you a might be able to sport. guess it. But we got a, went out yesterday, bought a bunch of equipment. That's yeah. why the video was uploaded a little bit later than it was. But got a bunch of new equipment. We'll start doing some challenges on that. And. Uh, we got a new camera, new, new camera. tripod. Yeah, so we can do start doing some different angles, uh, multiple angles. Production value will go up a little bit. It should, yeah. But if we got we got some different angles, different stuff. Of course, you know we've been announcing that we'll have a logo up here pretty soon. Probably starting next week is probably when we'll have that up. It should be painted over the weekend, and hopefully we'll have it up uh, uh, after this after this weekend. And. We're also going to start start doing some baseball card pack openings too. Yeah, something kind of different, you know, trying to, you know, see if we can get a see if we can get more people yeah, getting little, in and watching. A little bit it. more fun too. Yeah, people, yeah, something just fun to do. People like more pack interesting. Things. Yeah, a little more interesting than just talking about stuff. But I mean, and you know, eventually, if we get some people leaving comments and stuff like that, we'll do some card giveaways. And yeah, we'll do all kinds of stuff. We just need to get uh, people to comment and uh, start watching a little bit more. But anyway, guys, we just want to make a couple announcements. Maybe that'll uh, really interest you all in what we're doing some more. And always remember, like and subscribe. Okay, guys, we're back on Wednesday again. Common yeah. Sense Sports, talking about basketball this basketball, week, right? The NBA uh, All-Star Game uh, mm -hmm. preview this week. Right, right. Like and subscribe. Everybody's always familiar with the different competitions. One that's a little... Newer than the other ones, the three point and the all star, or just the all star game. Yeah, is the skills competition skills with a combination of uh, passing, shooting, and dribbling. Right? Yeah, yeah. They got the they got the hoops they pass through, and mm -hmm. they take a, a shot on each side of the court. Uh, the dribble course, some cones, I think. You know, just it's pretty basic, but it's still you know it's the basics of basketball. It demonstrates your skills with fundamentals. Right. Right. Um, and this year they got a combination of mainly younger guys they got one or two veterans in there uh mike conley's in there from the grizzlies he's a veteran he's one of those guys who's always been considered good with fundamentals he's a point guard so he handles the ball passes he's from the uh, he from the grizzlies and then they got of course uh young luka Doncic, the rookie for the mavericks right <laughs> the reason why we're laughing is because for some reason I thought Doncic was involved in big trade, and I was just a complete idiot. It was, it was you. I mean, it was the team. You were yeah, right he, played, the team. he played for the Mavericks. He played for the Mavericks. Yeah. But Dennis Smith Jr., who's actually in the, uh, we'll talk about him a little later. He's in the uh, slam dunk competition. He's the one who got traded to the Knicks for Porzingis. But um, De'Aaron Fox, another young guy from the Kings, uh, Jokic. He's a seven footer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of people think he's, you know, most fundamentally sound of all the big guys in the NBA. Um, Kyle Kuzma. He's one of those, um, he's not uh, like a big man, but he's not small. I think he's about 6'8", six, 6'9", six, plays for the Lakers. He's a younger guy. Um, Jason Tatum from my team, the Celtics, he's a rookie too. He's having a really good year. Um, Nikola Vucevic, another foreign guy, another big man. Now, he's another big man. He's a seven-footer from the Magic. And Trey Young from Oklahoma is in it this year. He just now got drafted. Today. Yeah, yeah, he's a rookie this year. But uh, he's been having a solid season. You know, when I was watching OU, just, just real quick, when I was watching OU play, because I have to get my thoughts in because I didn't play basketball or not <laughs> to watch him. But, uh, you know, I didn't think, and maybe it was the players that surrounded him, but I, I thought when he played at OU, he wasn't going to be good enough. He translated. I think he translated the NBA better. Some players just do Some that. Some players do, sports, yeah. So. I, I, you know, I said that when he was at OU. I, I felt like he was more of an NBA-style player. The deep threes, you know, the the quick mm -hmm. release. He yeah, plays he a lot a, like Stephen Curry. He, he And it seemed like he drove inside a, a lot, and he, he did, did have a quick yeah, release. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, he's still young, has time to develop. Well, he's already in the All-Star game, so, I mean, yeah. he's, he's making it. Oh, yep, skills competition. So, uh, now we want to talk about three-point contest, three which everybody's contest. always familiar with. Yeah, love the three-point contest. That's probably my favorite one. Yeah, of course, you got five racks, yeah. just like always. you got the money ball. Now, this year, it's a little bit different. you got two more people. I don't remember them having ten before. I'm I, well, I don't certain it was eight. I, I, I think it was eight. I and don't I, know if they added two this year. Well, I, well, we know the slam dunk's a little bit different, but the the three point we we think's a little bit different. I don't know how they're going to do the rounds if they went from eight to ten. No, it's hard to say because I think they used to go from eight to four to two. Um, right. And now 
I don't know if they'll go down to maybe five and then three, or if they'll just, though that last five, will, they'll decide between them, it'll just be two rounds. Could be like a wild card. Because they're, they're trying to shorten it down. I think the, a lot of the competitions, the All-Star Game competitions, they're trying to make them shorter. Right. Now, you would think that would be weird, adding more players to make it shorter, but it makes less rounds. It's, it's, remember, it's, it's uh, weird. I remember Larry Bird when he was when everybody it. walked up to I him. Always, always talk about that. <laughs> talked about who was going to finish second. Looking at everybody. I love those older players, man, because they had a lot of that trash talk. Yep. You know the one that still kind of reminds me of that is Kevin Garnett. When I he love had, Kevin Garnett too. He played for the Celtics. Of course, you know he ticked off Carmelo Anthony. Maybe he went a little over. He more probably than he did, did, but you know. But it's just it's fun, man. Yeah. That, that, it's that street ball mentality a little bit, that and one type mentality. Kevin just, Garnett, you know Russell Westbrook reminds me of that he's one of those guys where his teammates love him. Everybody else hates it. Well, I love that, man. Yeah, I love it. I love that com- competitive. Makes the clubhouse a little bit more fun. Of course, yep. both the clubhouse, but. And then um, we got the slam dunk competition, which is it, it has four people in it. And they always try, it seems like they're trying to get younger players. They are. They're trying involved. to get younger guys more now. They got um, Miles Bridges from the Hornets. I don't know a lot about him. Uh, I haven't watched the Hornets much this year. Now John Collins from the Hawks, I do know. Uh, he's having a really solid uh, first season. Uh, Hamadou Diallo from the Thunder. Mm-hmm. That's a guy that they got uh, in the preseason. Good long guy. You know, he has long arms, long legs, tall, link, uh, lengthy. He can get up there. And then, like I said, uh, Dennis Smith Jr. from the Knicks is in it. And he's a shorter guy. You know, he's like short, like six feet, you know, six one. So it's going to be interesting to see what he does. And it's fun to watch. I think the younger guys get so creative sometimes. It's yep. fun to watch. Yep. Now, in the three-point competition, a couple interesting stories there, too. You got uh, Seth Curry and Stephen Curry. They're brothers. Now, Seth Curry was second in the NBA in threes at one point this year. I'm not sure if he's still, he's still high. I'm not sure if he's still second. He was right behind Stephen Curry. Well, so Stephen, they can both shoot. Stephen Curry's always been good at three points. Um, now, Stephen Curry struggles some in the three-point competition because he's not as much of a set shooter. He's more of a guy that likes to move and, you know, get into space. Um, let's see who else is in it. Uh, Buddy Heald's in it. Another former yeah. OU player. Yeah. He's having a really solid uh, he was always season a good with the Kings. Was, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, who else? Damian. There's some big names in there. Damian Lillard, Dirk Nowitzki's in that one again too, mm-hmm. he, as well as the regular All Star game. You know, it's his final swan song season, so I think they're trying to get him as much as they can. Well, to go go into that a little bit, we get the All Star t- the All Star game, the All Star team. Yep. We got LeBron James and Giannis into Tequampo. That's Did perfect. I say that's, that right? That's exactly how you say it. Yep. But you have both of them that are the captains. They draft their teams. They draft it. And, and they, they, you know, they did it uh, when, they, when they brought the draft in. They changed it because you can draft. They could draft players from the East or the West now. So it's not the West versus the East now. It's just the captain teams versus each other. Which, which I like. Kind and, of interesting. And they have a couple older, older players. We, you mentioned Dirk Nowitzki. Dirk Nowitzki. And we got Dwayne Wade in there, who's always yeah. been one of my favorite players. I think players. he's thinking about. I'm assuming the NBA put those two in there. So I guess they're picking two. Probably older guys every year, guys that are close to retiring. Right. Um, to give them one last All Star game, you know, one last chance to go out there and have some fun. It is fun. Well, that's what, that's what it's about. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, in any in any sport, that's what it's about. It's about just bringing all the players together and having yep. fun. And you know, it's you got the two guys, probably two of the top NBA people, guys competing against each other. LeBron drafted James Harden. Giannis drafted Paul George. I know a lot of people are talking about Paul George being up there for uh, oh, MVP he's, voting. Well, he's, he's having a he's great season. Yeah. yeah, and James Harden, of course, is doing his uh, normal scoring that he does. And then you got Russell Westbrook too. With it. I mean, he's probably not in contention for MVP because of his shooting and stuff this year, but he's still yeah. averaging that triple double. You know, you talk about we we'll talk about some Oklahoma, uh, some players from Oklahoma City real quick. I cannot believe still that they didn't want to pay James Harden. He, they were. I, I firmly believe if he had stayed there, they would have won a championship. You would assume so, and and then when you keep him there, you're not sure what that's going to do with Kevin Durant, if he's going to decide to maybe stay because Harden was there or or still leave. I mean, you don't yeah. know how that would have affected that decision. And we and we could we could go into that a little bit too, the character involved in that. That, that kind of just, but I, I don't want to go too much into that. But you got a couple guys this year. It's their first All Star game. You got um, Jokic. I was mentioning him earlier. Uh, D'Angelo Russell, a guy that plays for the Nets, who's Kind of had an up-and-down career. Still a young guy. Played for the Lakers for a while. Got traded to the Nets. Having a really solid season. He made his first All-Star game, too. And it's always nice to see that when those guys work hard every year. Well, you want to see that. Yeah. I mean, you want to see new players. You want to see yep. fresh faces. That's why I always talk about, you know, we want to see new players and new new teams win competitions. Because yep. it's just a little bit refreshing. It, it, it's it's good for the sport. It is. You don't want people. to see, see the same teams win every single no. year. 
and you got Blake Griffin back in there for the first time since I think 2015 yeah, or 2016. It's been a while. He's having a, a good season. Uh, of course, you know you got the normal guys you usually see: Stephen Curry, yeah. Harden, yeah. Joel Embiid is having a good season this year. He's a big man for the 76ers. Uh, Kevin Durant, you know the guys you normally see, mm -hmm. but it, it's good to see some new people in there. It's crazy when Anthony Davis isn't the starter to me. Uh, that's just well, we that's about, how people voted. You know, that's we talked about him last week, and he was involved in a big deal, and he is a big time player. Yeah, but. Yeah, it's, when you don't see players like that, it is a little bit crazy. But, you know, in a way, that's a good thing for the sport, too, because that shows how much competition is involved yep. in the sport. So. But, yeah, I think that's not, not a whole lot else to talk about. I guess we can predict well, what team do you think is going to win. The All-Star team? Yeah. You can go with LeBron James. Go with, I think he has the better team. I think he'll probably pull it out. Of course, it'll be one of those crazy high-scoring 180 to 175 games, but I think I think he has the <laughs> And it always is, but that, that's what makes it fun. It is. Anyway, guys, that's it for us with Common Sense Sports, Cody and James. Always remember to like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell for us. Yeah, don't uh, don't forget, tune in uh, Friday. We're going to be talking yep. about the uh, the new sport we're going to be doing. A lot of you can probably guess what it's going to be, but we're going to keep that announcement for now. But uh, we're going to be doing some new challenges with that. We Like we said, we got some new equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, so production value should go up. should be a little bit more interesting, uh, different camera angles. Uh, don't forget the uh, Facebook, links to our Facebook. Twitter and Instagram. Always in the description down Always below. in the description down below. And uh, here comes the uh, basketball challenge for this week. You have a good day. day. All right, welcome back, guys. This is uh, our Wednesday challenge, right? Basketball challenge. Back with Pat again. Back with Pat again. And uh, make it a little more interesting. We're going to do some uh, some shots from the free throw line with the soccer balls. And then the uh, basketball is going to be the money ball from the three-point line, top of the key here. Because that's all I could afford. I don't yeah, yeah that's all we could afford. We didn't have any more money to get any more basketballs right now. But uh, who's going to go first? Who will well, go so, first? Well, the same rules apply, right? If same, Pat wins, yeah, the same rules. Count. Yep. If he wins, the challenge doesn't count, and it's just with zeros for both of us. Okay. I'll go first. All right, here we go. Here's my turn. Uh, I'm going to do one round each, six shots. First shot. Uh, no. Uh, no. Ah! Uh, no. Stop it. Get some help. Uh, stop well, it. it's frustrating. As you can see, now you can see why Michael Jordan didn't make his high school basketball team because of what I just did. All right, now it's my turn. I gotta beat one. I can airball it. So, uh. You suck! My soccer score is 2 to 1. So. So you won. Still suck. Unless he, uh. Unless he, uh. Well, no, because you still beat me, right? No, if he wins the challenge, we both get zero, right? If he wins the challenge, we both get zero. Okay. So it's down to Pat. It's down to Pat. Alright, All right, I'm up. If I win this, they both get zero. Yeah, you gotta beat two. I gotta beat two. Okay, so as you can see, the athleticism of all three of us is just superb. We're really good at basketball. <laughs> I wanted to give him a chance. With one point? Yeah. If I would have brought out my real skills, you guys wouldn't have said a chance. So we scored four points combined. Yeah, four points combined. On... <laughs> so as you know by now, well, all right, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.